Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So in today's video, we're going to continue our solution upgrades for CRM 2016 and talk about solution patching. If you remember in the previous video, we talked about kind of some of the changes that they had made to CRM 2016 solutions, mainly the, the whole concept of solution assets and being able to add you know specific components from an entity when you bring it into the application. So instead of bringing in all the forms, all the views, all the fields for an account, for the account entity when you bring it into a solution, you can actually just bring in a subset. So only specific forms, only specific fields or, or specific items based upon what it is that you want to do. Today, we want to talk a little bit about kind of an enhancement situation to this in which is regard to solution patching. And so if you think about as they kind of exist right now, when you have CRM solutions, you each managed solution comes in as a layer. And so when you bring in a managed solution, that is one layer. Anytime you make an upgrade to that, pet, that solution and you bring that solution into the environment, it's going to override that layer in the application based upon the version number. Well, what solution patching actually allows us to do is to bring in maybe a subset or a smaller change to that individual item. So maybe I have a solution that contains three entities, and now I just want to make a change to one of the entities in a solution. What I can do is I can, in essence, make a patch for that item that just contains the changes that I want to make for that one particular entity. And then I can bring in and I can import that managed patch into the environment. And what happens is it actually brings that managed patch layer on top of the existing managed solution layer. So you actually have kind of a two-tier process. And then ultimately, once you have you know enough patches, maybe you've done several different patches, you can actually package all of those patches together into one brand new solution that contains all of that information. So it gives you the capabilities to just publish out a certain subset of individual information, one on top of each other, as you would normally think of as a patch. And then ultimately, once everything is ready for prime time, you can roll all of those patches into one brand new solution, and then you can import that managed solution into the environment. And that's ultimately what we want to show you in this, in this video. So let's go ahead and explore this in the application itself. So here I have kind of a typical unmanaged solution that maybe I have already exported out as a managed solution and deployed into like a testing environment or something like that. And as you can see, it's very simplistic. It just has three entities. It has the account entity, the contact entity, and a custom entity called event. Now I haven't really made any changes to either any of these entities and I have attached all the assets. So I have all of the subcomponents for the account entity and all the subcomponents for the contact entity as well as the subcomponents for the event entity. So now I want to make a change. So maybe something has happened and I need to add a field to the event entity or I want to modify something in the event entity, but I don't necessarily care about the other two entities that are in this particular solution. So now what I can do is I can click clone a patch. And what this is going to do is this is going to base it off of the tip of the day solution. It's going to allow me to override the display name. But the big thing you're here to see is I now have a new kind of minor version number based upon the numbering scheme that I've chosen. So my initial one was 1.0.0.0. Now I have 1.0.1.0. So now it's going to go ahead and it's going to create basically a new version of this and essentially call it a, a patch. And in the description, it'll even tell me that it's kind of a patch of this particular solution. And so now when I open up this patched solution, I will see that once it opens up, I don't necessarily have anything in here. I don't have any entities. I don't have any components. I don't have anything involved. It's basically a fresh installation or, or a fresh solution. It's just a, a updated version number of that particular item. So now I could go ahead and I could add a component into this scenario. So I'm going to go into entities and add an existing entity. And I'm going to find this event entity that I created. So I'll scroll down and find the event entity. Click on OK. Now you'll notice that initially, because this was a custom entity, obviously everything came with it, which is fine. That's kind of what we would normally expect within this situation. I could pick and choose just the selected pieces that I would want to do. So if I'm just adding a field or something like that, I could deselect certain aspects of this and only include the items that I wanted as part of that patch. In this case, I'll just go ahead and I'll hit finish. 
So now in here, I could make whatever changes to this particular entity I wanted to. So I could come into here, I could expand the event entity. Maybe I'm just gonna go ahead and create a field for the event entity. So now I'll go ahead and just add a new field. I'll call this event date. Make it a date and time. And we'll set it to using the defaults and then I'll save and close. So now I would want to go ahead and deploy this. So now what I can do is once I've got everything kind of published from this situation, I can then go ahead and close out of here. I can take this patch, I can export this patch, I can export it as an unmanaged patch or as a managed patch, in this case I'll export it as a managed patch, and then I can save it. Now what I would do is now I would go into my new environment just like I normally would. I would install it into the new environment, but what would happen is it would append this basically on top of the current managed version of this individual solution. So now I would be able to at, at that point in time be able to go in and just apply the individual updates. And now if you know something else happens and I want to make another situation within this item, I could go ahead and clone patch if I wanted to. Now I have another version 1.0.2. I would go ahead and save this. And now maybe in this particular situation, I am only going to make a small individualized change. So now what I could do in this situation is I could go ahead and make another change to this item. I would go ahead maybe and add an existing entity. And in here, I would go ahead and choose the event entity bring that information in, and then maybe I rename a field or, or something like that. Concept being that once I have this done, I do the same thing, and it just appends this in. So if you were to kind of look at it subsequently, sub sub I would basically have these three individualized solutions, but the two would be kind of a, on top of the existing kind of managed layer that would be sitting there. So I would have your baseline managed layer. They would still come in as individual layers, but they would be in regards to the individual solution that I already had. Now, once I have all of these individual situations that I'm working with, now I could go ahead and let's say, okay, I want to basically, instead of having to install each one of these, I know that everything is matured enough to the point where it's ready to roll out and deploy as an entire situation. Now I could go ahead and I could clone the solution. And when I clone the solution, now it's going to create a major version of the solution that will include all of the individual patches that you know that I created within that situation. And so this would now give me the capability to roll that information all into the newly created solution and then deploy the information from there. And so this really gives us kind of a nice option from a application perspective to be able to grow and evolve because you don't necessarily always want to redeploy the entire solution, particularly if you've you know made changes to individual things that, that don't apply, apply at that particular situation. And so now if I come into here, I can see that I have this individual situation here. Now I could come in and I can open this up and I can see that all of the individual items are kind of referenced in, in, in that situation and it would contain every item that I wanted to at that particular point. Now this is one of those features that <clears throat> You know, as it evolves and as more things come, when you start bringing a package deployer and some of the other things, I think you're going to start to see a lot of flexibility, particularly around some of the upgrading capabilities that will be available within some of the SDK commands and through the user interface. It's just going to make, you know, the whole concept of working with and, and patching solutions and making your solutions a little bit easier to edit um, as you're moving forward. It's one of those things that as I've played with it, I've been very excited about. There's just a lot of really cool features and utilities around it. So I hope you kind of enjoyed our introduction to 
to cloning and patching solutions within Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2016. And again, for all of us here at CRM Tip of the Day, this has been Derek, and I just want to say thank you very much. Take care, everybody, and have a good one.